everybody. Has the smile left your face yet? <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, just been a great two week experience. It's certainly culminating with the gold medal. I mean, our guys uh, really put that as something they wanted to try to accomplish. You know, and uh, the deeper we got into the tournament, the more we felt like it certainly could become a reality. I think it took us a couple games to kind of get used to the rules a little bit and just get comfortable playing together. We had some different rotations and, and uh, had to learn some things about our team, but uh, it was an incredible two-week experience. You talked about before you left about having enough practice time and whether this team was yep. going to come together. Was there a moment where it just all happened? Uh, I think the moment was really more just with the, with the players on the team just being so unselfish because um, we had guys – you know, Amir obviously was outstanding, and John Newman were outstanding, you know, probably most games. But a bunch of other guys had big games here and there. Alex Hemingway made big shots in the first game against Finland uh, to win. I think that really rallied our spirits. Um, and then, you know, it seemed like everybody had a game or two where they played really well. And I think just, you know, kind of playing, you know, 10, 11 guys in every game and all of them playing similar minutes you know, minus one or two guys really just, I think there was just a chemistry that developed through the week uh, or two weeks that we were there. And so all of a sudden, guys were playing as hard as they could all the time, every possession, asking to come out. So um, really that that's what was exciting for me as a coach to watch your players kind of grow together during that experience. Amir seemed to have really taken a, a big step, not only on the court, but as yeah. a leader. Was that something you had seen before you guys left? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I have said that, you know, we we lost some really good players last year, but we have some guys that it's their turn. And, you know, really Clyde Trapp, Jonathan Bear, and Amir Sims were three guys that were all ready to take that next step, not only as players, but as leaders. And I think they were excited to do it. You know, it's unfortunate for us that Jonathan and, and Clyde both got injured. Uh, and it kind of left Amir there by himself a little bit. Um, but he's certainly more than capable. Uh, he's a very mature young man. He's been that way since he got here. Uh, he's very well respected because of his work ethic, uh, his competitive fight, and just the kind of person he is. He's just a he's a very easy to, easy going guy that gets along with everybody and just has this uh, strong personality that is infectious. Coach, it's always hard for uh, transfers to <laughs> gel with a new team. Your, your impressions of your four new transfers, they all got significant playing time last week. Yeah, I thought they all did well. Uh, Tevin had a couple games where he shot it great and, you know, really helped us. I mean, we don't win those games if he doesn't shoot it as well. Um, I thought Curran is just kind of a solid guy that, like, plays with some toughness and some experience. Tevin and Curran certainly both show that they've been in, you know, high major basketball games. And so they're not, they're not as in awe of the moment or, you know, as some of the younger guys that are a little frenetic uh, at times. Uh, I thought that showed. I thought Nick Honor, um, you know, played pretty well and pretty consistently. He's not a wow guy, but he made a couple big shots um, and took care of the ball and, and had good assist turnover numbers throughout the tournament. So being able to use him and Al together, I think, just gave us, you know, two guys that can come at you with some speed. And, and uh, so I was really pleased with that. And I think Kayvon is still the guy that's – Kind of trying to figure it out a little bit, get healthy. Uh, he had he had two games where I thought he was really good. The last game, uh, I thought he was really good uh, defensively. His length is is a factor. Um, you know, he's still got to work on his shooting a little bit, and probably isn't quite as athletic as he was before his injury. But um, really, just uh, like the way he gives you a lot of different things, versatility, and and uh, you know, just another good piece with a, a team of guys that. You know, really, it, it kind of takes our whole team right now. We don't, we don't have that many separators. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys that that are all pretty good players, but we don't have as many guys that maybe you would think of as you know elite players right now. And so, it's going to take them all uh, kind of playing well to, to to win at the next level. How will you use these six games to your advantage next season? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think it just gives us a little bit of a head start, uh, just knowing a little bit more about the guys that we have and what they've done. Um, you know, the competition was good and the coaching was good. Um, 
we were certainly the most athletic team. That was our biggest difference and advantage, and we took advantage of that. Uh, but we didn't execute as well as some of the teams we played against. That their 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 basketball IQ and their you know they probably spent more time together than our guys had. So they executed some things really well. We we've got to work on our execution, but really just building on the momentum of this, the positive uh, energy that came from it, uh, and then taking a look at guys' individual skills and being able to have some film to, to digest with them and go over some positives and some things that we got to improve on. I think that'll, that'll give us a little bit of a head start.